It's a fourth wing video. Yeah, that's right. We're doing it. I put on super expired lipstick before this and it's really tingly. Maybe it'll work like a lip filler though. Today's video is sponsored by Bastion Bolt Action Pens. Thank you so much, Bastion, for sending me one of the carbon fiber pens. Bastion's luxury pens are genuinely so comfortable to hold. It is so heavy and weighted and I love it. <laughs> the writing is super smooth, the ink is dark and strong, and the quality of this pen is absolutely incredible. You can check out the link in the description to see a full catalog of their products. They don't just sell pens, they've got watches and bracelets and other things. And you can use code JCJ20 so JCJ20 to get 20% off absolutely anything on their website. Again, click the link in the description, use my code for 20% off. I hope you guys enjoy your products. How many millions of fourth wing videos are there on YouTube now? Probably two million, probably less than a million actually. But that's not the point. The point is, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I decided to make another video. Today, obviously, we're gonna be talking about fourth wing and iron flame and all of that. Why don't I sound excited? Well. I'm not a fan of fourth wing. No, that's not fair actually. That's an entirely unfair statement because I have not read fourth wing. That's probably not a surprise if you've been on my channel before. I am a fantasy girly, but I'm not a romance girly. And from what I've heard about fourth wing and iron flame is that it, it's incredibly romance heavy. And therefore I just have not read it. <sighs> I don't know. Honestly, it's so conflicting. When fourth wing originally came out, Whatever that was, I don't even remember now. It came into the store and I was like, that's pretty. And one of my coworkers was like, yeah, I'm reading it, I like it. And I was like, oh, sprayed edges. Those sprayed edges are nice. And so I bought myself a copy, purely because of the sprayed edges and the gold cover, I thought they were nice. And then, lo and behold, Fourth Wing exploded. Unless this is your first day in the book community, you've heard of Fourth Wing. I'm sorry if that sounded rude. If you haven't heard of Fourth Wing, I'm surprised. So yeah, Fourth Wing went crazy, everyone was reading it, and the reviews have been so mixed. Right out of the gate, all of the reviews were five stars, five million stars. As many stars as you can possibly give a book, that was this. I do happen to follow a lot of romance blogs and romanticy blogs on Instagram, and I think I was seeing their stuff, primarily. And then one more, hardcore fantasy readers started reading it, that's when we got some of the lower ratings in. And then I started seeing all the one star ratings. The people that are giving this five stars are obsessed. All of my Instagram ads are Basgith War College merch. Am I saying that right? Is I don't know. But like sweaters, backpacks, shoes, lipstick, stuff. Everyone's doing fan art. There's so many additions now, Fourth Wing. And it's crazy. And then there are people that absolutely freaking hate Fourth Wing. Like they've made it their day job to talk about how much they hate Fourth Wing. And I have something to say to those people, but I'm not gonna say it yet because we're not there yet in the video. Anyways, if you've been paying attention at all, or if you are for Fourth Wing is the Taylor Swift of books and just as quickly as the Eras Tour sold out, probably Iron Flame sold out. This book came out a few days ago and I, being a bookstore employee, put a copy on hold for myself for one simple reason. I wanted the sprayed edges. I don't understand why they didn't do the same thing. It's the same, like it's a first edition, same publisher, but they, they just didn't do dragons this time. They just like went backwards in creativity. Stupid. But I knew Iron Flame was gonna sell out immediately and that the black sprayed edges were gonna go because the second printing of Fourth Wing has blank paper edges, no black, no dragons. The same thing's gonna happen to this. It's already happened. A lot of people have been posting about how their orders, like in their order summary, it's changed already from black to blank before they even received the book and they are pissed off. I would be too. Everyone was like, oh, you're getting Iron Flame? So you read Fourth Wing? I'm like, no. And they're like, why are you getting it? And the answer is because I'm a collector. I am a collector of books. And because I'm a collector of books, I did the extra step crazy thing, which was purchasing the Fourth Wing holiday special that came out on the same day as Iron Flame. We've got black sprayed edges. Again, they've Forwent, said word, the dragons. There are no dragons. 
They've forgotten the dragons. I think the holiday edition is stunning. I really wish that we had the sprayed edges from the original combined with the cover color of the holiday edition as one, and then I would only have one copy of it. But now I have two because I like individual features of both of them. So here I am, a non-romance, non-romanticy reader collecting the most coveted series of the year. Why? Why did I do this? Why did I spend all this money? You might think I'm crazy. But here's the thing. This is the point of the video that I wanted to get to. I have no intention of reading these books and a lot of people have said to me like, why, why would you waste your money on them if you're not gonna read them? Why would you buy them? Why do you want them on your shelves? And the answer is because I'm a collector. It's been said before, I'm not the first one to say it at all, but book buying and collecting and reading books are two very different hobbies, both of which I participate in. I'm an avid reader and I'm an avid buyer, <laughs> collector. Reading and purchasing and organizing and using books as decor bring me two very different types of happiness and peace. Reading is obvious, it's the same way you feel. I like to get lost in worlds. My genre of choice is heavy epic fantasy or hard sci-fi or intense horror. That's what I like. Not a romance girly, I've said it. But I still buy books that I think are beautiful aesthetically to add to my collection because Having them on my shelves and getting to look at them and seeing how they line up with the books next to them and how the color combinations work together, that's an entirely different thing to me. Having these books behind me and around me, this whole room is filled with books, is like putting art up on my walls. I know that some people that watch this video are going to be mad. They're gonna say like, why would you buy books that you're not gonna read? Why would you take away those books from other people? Guys, there's lots of copies of books. My store happened to sell out, but I was at a different location and they had tons still. Also, you can order them online. Also, like, relax. And I am still doing something with the books that I like. And then there are people that are going to say, well, why don't you give them a chance? Why don't you read them? I don't want to. I have a long TBR, as we all do. Fourth Wing is not on it. It doesn't interest me. I like dragons well enough, but everything else about the plot that I've heard is not something that interests me. The only aspect is the dragon riding uh, part. Do they ride the, I don't even actually know if they ride the dragons. I assume that they do. But the dragon part is the only thing that interests me and I've heard that the dragons are done well, but there are other dragon stories on my TBR already that I'm going to read and I'm not interested in the smut. I'm not interested in the romance aspect and I've heard nothing else about this series. It's dragons and smut as far as I know. Unless I'm just missing something, I'm not interested in it. Sorry. And that's okay. This is point number two of the video. It's fine to not be interested in fourth wing. Now, you probably think I'm about to break into some song and dance about how fourth wing readers should not be pressuring the rest of us to read this series and everyone needs to stop freaking out about it because who cares and stop hyping it, blah, blah, blah. That is the exact opposite of what I'm about to say. I've been on Instagram for some time now and whenever there's a big new release in the romanticy community specifically, a lot of accounts that are in the fantasy specific community take that as an opportunity to crap all over romance readers. Oh my God, the amount of posts I've seen this last week hating on Fourth Wing and Iron Flame and Rebecca Yaros as a person and talking down to the readers, acting like they're not as good as the rest of us. I'm, it's disgusting guys, I'm over it. I have said this for so long in so many aspects of my life. People are allowed to enjoy whatever they want. Your hobbies are valid, your interests are valid. I love seeing people get passionate about the things they love, even if it's something that I'm not interested in at all. I have loved seeing everyone's fourth wing and iron flame posts this last week. They're beautiful. The books are beautiful and people's posts are so stunning because everyone's buying this book. So some of the like most talented Instagrammers, photographers out there are taking pictures of these books and they look so good. And even just people that are like taking a picture of the book and doing nothing to the post, those are great too. I love them. I love knowing that people are having a good time reading. So please stop hating on books that are not good enough hating on readers that are not good enough. People that like books that you don't like are not worse than you. Oh my gosh, I'm getting heated right now in my head. There are some people that I've seen that I am friends with that are 
making posts like about how stupid fourth wing is, about how bad it is. You know, like memes just about how annoying it is to see the posts about fourth wing. Then get off bookstagram until it calms down. This is how it is. The people that you've chosen to follow, the people that you're seeing in your feed, are interested in fourth wing and iron flame. So that's why you're seeing it. Obviously we get recommended posts and there's a lot of fourth wing and iron flame right now, but they're still recommended for a reason. I'm not getting recommended posts that are like completely unrelated to my genre and my interests. That's not how the algorithm works. I am gonna backtrack a little bit and say it's totally fine to point out specific things that you don't like about the books. Someone that I follow on Instagram made a list of all the times I think it was the word badass is used in fourth wing and how like excessive it was and how it eventually started sounding silly and I think that's fine and honestly she did it in like a comedic way where she was pointing out and she was like this is funny and like ridiculous. A lot of people have pointed out that the writing of fourth wing is not great but that's not why people like it. No, they're saying I love this book because Zayden's a hot shadow daddy. So yeah, of course it's fine to point out the, the like genuine critiques and criticisms of the book if you've read it. If you haven't read it and you're just trying to like act cool and better than everyone because you haven't read Fourth Wing and you're not going to, shut up! <laughs> I'm not gonna read Fourth Wing. I couldn't care less about the story. But the books are pretty and I'm happy that everyone in the community is thriving right now. And my earlier comparison of Fourth Wing to Taylor Swift is so real because I feel the exact same way about Taylor Swift. I have no interest in Taylor Swift's music. I can't even name like three songs. It's a whole thing at work. I don't, I, <laughs> but my coworkers and a lot of my friends are so, so excited about everything she's doing right now. And they will get tickets to see the show and the movie. And I'm so happy for them that they've got this thing that they're enjoying and looking forward to. And I feel the exact same way about Taylor Swift and Fourth Wing. And I don't understand why people give so much hate to other people enjoying things. I enjoy a lot of weird things and I hate it when people make fun of me for the things that I like. I'm over it now. As an adult, I don't care. I like what I like and you can't tell me otherwise. But when I was younger, it affected me so much. I wanted to be cool, I pretended I was cool, and I pretended I didn't like Lord of the Rings or video games or books. And I stopped reading for like 10 years because I wanted to be cool. I'm getting off track a little bit, but that, my, that's my point. That's what I'm trying to say. This video uh, took a bit of a turn. This was not what I intended to film today. I didn't really have an intent with this video. I knew I was gonna talk about Fourth Wing and show off that I bought all of them, and I have them, and I'm really excited. Ooh, I hit myself in the face. And I knew I was gonna generally talk about what I talked about, but I didn't think I was gonna get so animated. I wanted to show you also, though, because dragons. I also got Murtag by Christopher Paolini, and I got to meet him, and he signed my book. And it's crazy, because I'm also seeing people hating on Murtag and Aragon and Christopher Paolini, being like, why are grown-ups so excited about kids' books? Ugh, really? I don't have to explain, but it's because we grew up with those books, and then 10 years later, we finally have a new one. That's why. Wow, okay, I should probably shut up now. I'm sorry if this video was utter nonsense, but honestly, it was a really important video for me to film, in my opinion. I've been thinking about this all week. I'm um, sick of people just being mean and toxic in the book community. The book community is supposed to be like the nicest one. What are we doing? Let me know in the comments if you're a fourth wing girly or if you're an Aragon girly. Or if you're a mix of the two. You're some kind of like hybrid girly. Or maybe you're not a girly at all. Tell me what you are. But seriously, if you've read any books I've talked about today in the video, tell me about them below. Tell me if you liked them or if you didn't. Tell me your criticisms, tell me your favorite things. Tell me your thoughts on my commentary from this video today. I hope it made sense. I'll have to watch it back. Before I go, I just wanna thank Bastion again for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description to see a full catalog of their products and don't forget to use code JCJ20 for 20% off anything from their store. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell icon so you know when I upload new videos, I upload two days a week. I love you guys, goodbye.